We are now live. Welcome back. Oof. Ooh, we're trying to get some stretching in. We're going through hooking you guys up. I, that's why I came live for you guys. I need to know what else you want me to add in this program. Because it's going down. This is my five-page aftercare program. This is like the Bobby Boucher water boy manual. If anybody gets a hold of this book right here, this got everything you need to survive. Invention, invention. Ooh, look, the body manual. Look, here's the body manual. This is how it started. It all has to be written down. Another invention. Anyways, we're on page three. Direct therapy. Three ways to self-care without a doctor or medication. Hydrotherapy, hot or cold treatments. Important. Info on that. I want to get numbers for you guys. So you guys kind of know how cold it needs to be, how hot it needs to be. The hydrotherapy book is over there. I'm just putting down like a little rough draft. Physical therapy. Rehab yourself, beans and buckets, slowly move it. Direct therapy, self massage, stretching before the injury, using machines that you cannot get a hold of. It's very important. We gotta figure out how to get you access to these machines. Four, which page four I think needs to page four is his own complete fucking manual I got a 2008 Mitsubishi Endeavor the black truck Yeah, page four is is my is it's gonna be my sleep manual. So we're gonna do page four for the aftercare is gonna be stretches. That's what we're gonna do. Most needed stretches to keep homeostasis. In the body. These are the stretches that you need, that you need to do. Because of who you are as a human being. What society has portrayed for you as a human being. What people have created inventions that your body must conform to. There, I mean, there's many different reasons of why you need these stretches. And as a person who evaluates people all the time, I evaluated what stretches you need. I've, I've already done it. I'll put it in the manual for you. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting it down for you guys. This has nothing to do with anybody specific. This has to do with every single human being on planet Earth. Once I know your profession, or once you tell me your profession, I will be able to 100% help you. Because I know the first two or three pages, the first two pages here. Understanding muscles, understanding angles, range of motion, understanding joints. So page four is the most needed stretches to keep homeostasis in your body. And of course it's already here. So for females, you guys need, females need external rotation, right? External rotation. Or on a deeper level, if they don't understand external rotation, it's the lateral side of the joint. That shit 
Understanding if you're on the lateral heavy side or the medial heavy side of your joints is the most important thing you could ever know about your body. This is why. By knowing what side your medial or lateral heavy, you will understand where your imbalance is immediately. You'll understand what's tight, what's locked tight, and what's locked loose. If you don't understand where your body's supposed to be, how would you ever know where it should be? You just look at it and say, my leg's supposed to do this. Is it supposed to do that? Do you know? Did you study what the body's supposed to do? Like a mechanic, right? It's like a mechanic. Your, body, your, body's, like a, your body's like a car, right? Or females external rotation, or they need to be on the they need to be on the lateral side of the joint. Which means this. Lateral side, which means in, 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 in lateral side means in any position that you are in, which is let me let me let me show you this. I'm 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 gonna show you one page in this manual of my sleep manual. I'm gonna show you how this is how in how important this is. I'm going to show you, right? I'm going to pause this for a second. If you're a lady and you need to work on your external rotation, right? Not internal. Internal, because you guys are all doing this. So women are all internally rotating. If you want to work on your external rotation on the lateral side of your joint. Now imagine this. It doesn't matter if you're in a laying position. It doesn't matter if you're in a seated position, lying position. It doesn't matter. Your objective as your in your body, it must be externally rotated. It doesn't matter if you're seating, standing, laying. It doesn't matter. Your resting position is on the lateral side. That's what I would say for a female. Lateral side, which means the outside. Medial being the inside, lateral being the outside, which means if you're sleeping. Imagine this. If you're a woman and you're sleeping and you are like this, from what I just told you, are you right now on the medial side or the lateral side? You are on the medial side right now. Which means if you're a woman and you need to be on the lateral side, that means in this position, the only thing that moves is the joints. Which means your ankle moves and your knee moves. Which means your hip has to move. To get on the, to get on the lateral side, it looks like this. That's the lateral side. And just from this position... It's already pulling my lower back. I already feel the stretch. Already. Right? So you need foot straight still, but you're not doing this. This is on the this is on the top. We we need we want to get on the lateral side. So you keep your foot straight. If you can't go down there yet, then that's not the angle you're at. You can't go there yet. This is step one for you. That's what people don't realize. You've gone however many years inside of a stretch, and now you all of a sudden I'm gonna come into your life and tell you that you need to do the opposite. That shit is going to take some time, energy, effort, mental, physical. It's going to take all of that shit. So look, boom, freeze. You catch your, This is what I do all day long. I'm never off 24 hours a day. I'm my best intern. So if my body, and I just got up, if my body put myself in this position, the opposite, right? The opposite would be the position that I need to put myself into consciously which over time has become subconscious movements. Therefore, that's why my position, and, and I'm titled, I've already, I've gone so conscious that I've subconsciously already corrected myself, right? So for me, I, I'm, I'm so tough on myself. If you guys think I'm going to be your trainer in any kind of way, shape, or form, I'm going to fucking destroy your mind where, yeah, you might have to rethink everything you've been doing for a long time, right? That's, that's it is what it is. Page four, females, external rotation, lateral side, lateral side, right? I broke this femur. So in my brain, my, the easiest for me would to be here. Well, I broke this femur. So if we're going to get, if we're going to get real serious, if I know, do the right thing when no one's looking. The Marine Corps taught me to do the right thing when no one's looking, which that's the biggest problem I believe that people have. If you have a program or you have something that you're going for, the only way you slip up is when you're home a fucking loan and no one's looking at you. That means you need to go live because when you're live, you ain't eating. If you need to actually put someone in your fucking life to have some discipline, you need to put yourself out there. You need to go volunteer because when you're volunteering and you're giving up your time, you're not home doing something when no one's looking, which in reality, what you're not understanding is you're burning your own life. 
Because guess what? The time when no one's looking is the best fucking time to work on yourself. You want to know why? Because no one's fucking watching you. Um, I've been high for the last 10 years. You're watching me right now because of um, my creativity under the influence of marijuana. Um, welcome to your first live feed. I've been doing this for the last 10 years. When the number said zero, when the number said five. Um, yeah, please don't take my passion for pressure. You know, some people, a lot of people take my passion and they're like freak out. I'm a United States Marine, so if I say the F word more than four or five times, I'm sorry for your sensitive ears. What I'm doing here is what the people around you or your influencers are not doing. They're going to, I'm going to, I've been, at the last 10 years, I've been in a selfless situation where I can balance on anything. It doesn't matter when or how. It, I understand the way the body moves as a therapist. I'm a massage therapist. I understand how the body works. It doesn't matter when, how, or what the product is. I understand what fulcrum is. I understand what pivot points. I understand what kinetic chain firing is. I understand what proprioception is. I'm not coming to you as a fucking personal trainer. I'm coming to you as a therapist. As a fucking therapist. Down to the cellular level. I'm coming down to tell you angles, joints, muscle belly versus tendon. Tensegrity models. I'm coming to help you at a healthy to get you healthy, and then you can choose whatever form of fitness you want: balance, gymnastics, whatever the fuck you want, calisthenics. It doesn't matter what you want to choose your fitness, your form of whatever you release. But being healthy is key. So this aftercare program, which I'm on page four right now, I'm giving you a little inside of how this is gonna how I'm putting this down. Yeah, no, the sleeping position, no, I have a whole program coming out because there's therapists out there, which you guys understand, there's therapists out there that are selling you things, they're creating things, they're, they're not, they're not help. you know why they're not helping you? This is why, and this is why a lot of people don't like me. Like someone commented earlier in my shit, they're like, he was like, yo, this is good information, why are you giving this shit out? And I said, why not? Because if you don't apply it, which I learned people don't do immediately. I guarantee you, you can learn everything you want tonight and everything. You're not going to apply it every single day for the next week. It's not the, it, doesn't work, it doesn't work that way. Everybody's ready when they're ready. The mature, if they're ready, life it hits them when they're ready. Like, that's the way it works. So it's, it's, it's about me being fresh, me being have the motivation, the dedication, and me to be able to put this down because if I fucking die tomorrow, this information is valuable because as of right now, I don't see anybody disclosing this information to you because you're not paying them. Understand that. You're not paying them, therefore in your in their mind, you are nothing because you're not helping them pay their bills, right? You're not helping them put food on their table so they don't know who you are, what you're here for, or what do you want. That's why when people walk up to people outside, they're like, fuck do you want? It's like because we've got to this level of society where you can't talk to no one to help that's the reason why we have to buy all this shit. That's the reason why every, everyone has to charge you shit because no one's talking. Imagine if everybody, like imagine right now if you press that little goddamn paper airplane button and you shared this shit and this said thousands, Instagram would shut me the fuck down. They, they don't want, why would, why would a, a platform or a profile want someone out there that's going to give you the information to get you healthy and get you right when they're, they're going to lose money? It, it, you guys need to understand at that point. It's like you guys are looking at my numbers. Like no, 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 the numbers will always be like that. And I'm gonna tell you something right now. The most, some of the brokest people in the whole entire world are teachers. The people that are actually helping and teaching and helping people develop their own ideas are some of the brokest people in the world. I contacted a DJ today. I was like, yo, man, I talked to him. He's a DJ from Miami, uh, DJ Nano, whatever. And I was like, yo, dude, I've been seeing your life come up, bro. And in Miami, being a fucking DJ. Can you imagine how much fucking money this guy is coming into and his cars that he's driving and his fucking houses that he's in and these people that he's seeing? It's like, yo, man, if I had one fucking percentage of the amount that you're receiving, I would be able to fucking move mountains. The issue with that is someone that has that capability, you, you, you don't invite someone to a party if you're the brightest fucking star that someone's going to outshine you. That makes no fucking sense. LeBron James is fucking throwing a house party. He is not contacting Michael Jordan and he's not contacting Kobe Bryant to go to this party. Am I right or am I right? I'm fucking right. Why would someone invite me with the energy, the motivation, the dedication, the knowledge, the ability, the capability, the consistency? 
Why would any of your any of your fa- your idols or the people that you're saying that are important? Why would they ever put me on their platform? Why would they do that? Why would you need them anymore? Think about this, guys. Think about this shit. You need to understand. So I'm so what I'm doing when I come live and I'm fucking helping you guys and I'm doing I'm doing this. How do you say conquer it, man? I know that my soul is strong. Man. Uh, that reminds me of a, maybe, I don't know, I'm not of a situation. I was dating this chick one time and I took her to the gym. And uh, she kept looking around, right? We were working out and shit. She kept looking around. And I was like, listen, let me explain something to you. You know how awkward people are? They don't make eye contact, which means this. If you got it like that, guess what that means? Do your fucking shit. You want to know why? Because if you know you got it like that, like I know I got it like that, I know no one else has it like that next to me. Therefore... You don't ever have to look at those fucking people. You know why? The minute you're not looking at them, guess who? They're looking at you. Remember that. If you're not looking at them, they're looking at you. The minute they look away, you're looking at them. They already looked at you. Understand that. So when you know you got it like that, you go in and you do what the fuck you got to do. Because every motherfucker is looking at you. They are. They are. Trust me. When you got the energy... When you got the charisma, when you got the when you got the ump about you, and you don't have this stress, and you don't have this umbrella over you, they see it. They fucking see it. They notice it. You'll start noticing when people look at you. Motherfuckers look at me like they think I got some shit going the fuck on. That's weird. I used to get looked at different. Now I get looked at. I get looked at like motherfuckers are trying to figure out what the fuck I got going on. I used to get looked at a lot different. I can completely tell the shift of how I'm looked at now, and it's because I'm positive. I got that positive energy. I'm willing to help. I'm willing to motivate. You can see that shit. It's like energy. People out there that need energy, they can, they can see energy. Males. Internal rotation. Now, those crossfitters, they do a lot of external rotation. So for crossfitters, look, I wrote... Look, man, that's the next fucking sentence right there. See that? That's the next sentence. Females, male, crossfitters. Because I already wrote this. I already wrote all this down. I'm just taking it and putting it in subcategories right now. I'm just breaking it down a little further. But that's that's my brain. That's how much I've done this. I've evaluated people. I've gone into a crossfit gym before I got kicked out. And I was like, why the fuck do all these crossfitters decide to fucking do handstands like this? The crossfitters don't do handstands like this. They do not walk like this. You want to know why? As a therapist, I've gone down and evaluated why. They do clinging jerks. And what's clinging jerks, ladies and gentlemen? It's extreme hard external rotation. External rotation. Therefore, their arms, when they handstand, they're in external rotation. That's why CrossFitters. So for CrossFitters, that's how you walk into a CrossFit gym and completely change all of their fucking lives. You completely make them increase their bench and their fucking squat and their clinging jerk by 25 pounds tomorrow. That's how you do it. You go in and you say, listen, you've been clean and jerking and you're externally rotated all day. For now on, you're going to be hanging upside down for the next week and you're doing internal rotation everything. So a full week in the CrossFit gym needs to be pure internal rotation of the arms. Period. Because all they do is external throws, external throws, external throws. Well, how long you been in CrossFit? How many years? Okay, well, fucking, let's say how many fucking months or years you got to go the other way. That's how it works. I'm giving you fucking dimes here. This is the way it works. And it only works if you're willing to do it. Not if you're willing to listen. You can listen all day. You can listen all day. You got to be willing to do it. Have to. CrossFit. They need some fucking internal rotation. Ankle stretches for jumping. That shit is critical. That's a whole fucking different conversation right there. Um, Because I can tell, I can show you, I can show you what's happening right here just by relaxing. So this foot is not in neutral position because it's tight. My calves are chronically tightened. Neutral position would be here. That's a neutral position, but if you do this, I'm already flexing my tibialis anterior. Therefore, 
that's why I have an invention coming out. Or if you need to use the wall, you put your foot against the wall and you put a block against the wall like this. Let me show you. I'm gonna fucking do it. This is what I do. They said trade a millionaire. When you have an idea, you fucking execute. That's how you be a doer. Right? So you put your shit like this. Right? You put your foot on it. It's already stretching my fucking cap. And then you scoot up into this wall. Like, that's it. Like, that right there would unchronically tighten your cap. But you're not doing that shit at your house because you're just fucking not. That's, I know you're not. If you can prove to me that you are, I'll fucking give you my whole goddamn fucking profile. I don't give a fuck. I know you're not. I have that much fucking confidence in bodies. That's all I've been looking at for the last decade is fucking bodies. I've been looking at all your goddamn bodies. I'm certified to touch you motherfuckers. I will touch you one day. No homo. None of that weird shit, but in a positive, loving way. Shoulder stretches for injuries. I got two tone rotator cuffs. You definitely need shoulder stretches. What up, bro? It's popping. Self massage techniques to relieve pain after workouts. Your thumbs and your right here. See, like, see, this is I was. That's why I was a great specimen in massage school. Because if you can see all the see, so this is what people need to understand: the muscle in the quad. It, it ends here. So so the most sensitive points are the connection points before the joint, right? So you would take your thumbs and you would push it right here. This is where sh this shit should feel bomb to you. And go Remember, with fiber friction, with the fibers, kind of like cutting meat, with the fibers of the muscles or against the fibers. So if you go back and forth, you're going with the fibers. If you go up and down, you're going against, which is two different feelings. This right here, this is a nightly, daily, nightly thing. The IT band crosses over the knee. So your knees don't ever hurt. Remember, that's page two. Understanding what hurt and pain is. Your, your bones don't hurt. Your joints, your ligaments, and your tendons connected to the bones is what hurts and what's tight. See, I got tendonitis in my ears. My shit is ringing hard as fuck right now. I can't hear shit. Tibialis anterior forearm thumbs and strokes. Shit, tibialis anterior forearm. See this shit right here? Grab the thumb, grab the arm, right against the bone, right in there. You should feel all the little knots. You should feel all that shit. Right up in here. Shit, I fucked this arm up. So this one's in recovery mode right now. Those are my four pages of my aftercare program. I'm breaking it down a little further just so I can put some more detail in it. These things, these things are a must. They're a must. This is my Bobby Boucher right here. This is the Bobby Boucher water boy. Book. I'm glad you guys are tuning in to get some information. Just please understand that there's nobody out there that can give you a grocery shopping list if you have, all have DNA and we're all different people. And there's no way possible someone can give you a workout plan knowing that we've all been through different traumatic and we have injuries and tightness and chronic holding patterns. There's no way possible you can go off someone else's shit. So, before you buy someone else's workout plan or buy a plan, understand how to be healthy within your body. Once you be healthy in your body, at that point, you've gone so far into what health is and how to be healthy within yourself. You don't need someone else's plan. That's what I'm saying. You're only, you're only reaching for someone else's plan because you're telling yourself that your plan that you thought of is not good enough, which that's a lie. Who fucking, I don't know who told you that. I don't know why you believe that shit. What you do every single day is perfect. You just got to focus on how you're doing it. You need to focus on how to counteract what you're doing. And remember, what people don't understand is you can only you can't grow once you're past the tightest point, which means is you work your opposite and you release those points. So you you working your opposite, well, you will already gain strength, mobility. You already will gain that stuff because you're, you, a lot of you guys are tightened to a point where you if you're tightened, locked. Remember, there's a locked long and locked short, locked strong and locked weak. There's a difference. Everything has a synergist, an antagonist, it's, it, it is no, there's no extra, which means this. If your arm is like this, okay, we're just, gonna put, we're just gonna put this as an example. If your arm is like this, you are chronically flexing your bicep, which means if your arm is like this and it's not flexed, you're wrong. It needs to be flexed technically because this is flexion. 
if you're not flexing it in your tricep, right now your tricep is locked long. So if you want to flex your tricep, you have to release you release your bicep. When you flex a muscle, you release the opposite muscle. So you must understand that. I know it makes so much sense. I'm I'm going to change this goddamn planet as soon as I get the access. But I need you guys' help. As of right now, you're not really helpful. I'm just giving you guys that information. Hopefully, you guys take it to a position in your life. You take it serious. You change your life. You become something amazing, and you reach back and say hello. If not, I already understand. I already understand. I'm the unsung hero in the Marine Corps. I learned not to not to to look for pats on the back. Just do good things because you want to do it. Don't worry about if something comes back. That's not the way you focus on life. Remember, you're not supposed to evaluate other people asking you for something. You're supposed to evaluate yourself if you receive if you can give or not. Right? It's it's, it's very simple, but it's on the healthy side. I got you guys' attention from the fitness side, and what you guys are not realizing is. I have, my, my, the information I have on health is twice as powerful is, and important as me fucking handstanding on some weird shit. I understand the body. I can fucking handstand on a goddamn popsicle stick. I don't give a fuck. Like that shit, I, I can fucking handstand on this pin. I, I can do a push up. I know, I know the fulcrum. I understand the, it's like a fucking magic trick. I've unlocked a magic trick. When it comes to proprioception and kinetic chain firing in your body, and the way I did that was connecting my mind and my body. Why? Because the shit that I do, if you don't focus, you're fucked. That's why I challenge any of you motherfuckers out there. You want to talk shit? You want to send me some shit that other people are doing? Please go and set up and do one of my fucking moves. Please give me that... Give me that pump. Make me go back to the gym. Make me go work out. Make me break a sweat. I mean, I see a bunch of people doing shit that everyone's doing. But as far as my shit, I don't see a fucking soul fucking with. Because it's, it's much more than physical. This shit is mental. That's good. I'm here to help. I'm here to change people. I'm here to... So what helped you get such a strong focus? Um, that's a hard. Uh, it all helps in a sense. I, um, what helped me was I know what helped me. What helped me get such a, a, an important focus is everybody's love for money. Everybody's love for money has made me. Become, get in this position. Remember, I went into the Marine Corps. I, I was in I was in a foster home. I was an alcoholic abusive uh, father growing up. I never said mom to my actual mother. I have a son right now. I don't have a. I, I've never been around any kind of estrogen besides girlfriends. Right, I'm married now, which is amazing. Thank God she needs to bring her ass back here so I can have a fucking daughter. Try to have some damn kids, more kids. But for me, the money aspect, the fact that people think that health. And knowledge should cost money. They're not understanding it. So I came out with a quote book. Time is not money. Time is life. That's what people need to understand. Your life goes every second your life's going. You can't add a second to the clock. You can't take away a second for the clock. It, it, 60 seconds is 60 seconds. That's what everyone has deemed it. And that's it. Sun goes up. Sun goes down. You can print money out. So the fact that everybody thinks that they need to charge you for a membership. They need to charge you for this. They need to charge... That shit has made me go so fucking far away from money that I literally, the title of my book might be The Moneyless Entrepreneur. The title of the book might be The Moneyless Fame. I live off of less than $10 a day of budget. I have no fucking credit. I don't have shit. But I have so fucking much inside that it scares the people with money. It scares those motherfuckers. Because if they're not receiving something that made them full, which I can get on a stage and completely destroy your whole company, I'm dangerous as fuck. I'm dangerous as fuck, man. Doesn't matter what value, what money. To, I have the courage to speak. I have, I have more courage to speak than most of these damn businesses, companies, CEOs, billionaires. And that's from the Marine Corps, probably being a radio operator, talking to four or five star generals with my arms behind my back. And if I'd have said the wrong word, I would have fucking vanished. Maybe. I don't know. But that shit, the power that people put in money, it 
it makes me, and I got a lot of shit going on in my life. People don't realize I don't do a lot of bitching. I'm in the fucking child support system right now. Which, guess what that is? It's an ex-wife that has a fucking greedy mindset that wants money. So for me, I am going to, my fucking life is, I've, I've, I take pride on being an original, which means that I don't use anyone else's shit. In order for me to have the power to not use money, to be able to create the life that I want, the legacy I want to create, I have to do it with no money. I have to do it with no money. I don't think you guys are understanding that shit. Like, that's just on a deep, deep level. Do you know any ideas on how to stretch my back? It's hurting. What type of hurt is your back hurting? Is it the top? Is it the back? Do you have a foam roller? What have you been doing all day? What is your job? Uh, do you plan on... How do you sleep at night? Do you plan on doing an Epsom salt bath? Do you know what hydrotherapy is? So, like, these things, what people don't realize is they take a couple more questions than my back hurts. You know what I'm saying? My back hurts, too. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about... See, 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 see what, like, what page is this? On the aftercare program? Uh, right here. Here we go. Page two. What is pain mentally and physically? Mindset. Mentally giving up before your body. Mindset physical. Not knowing when to stop. Right? So your mindset mental is giving up before you're done, right? Mindset physical would be not knowing when to stop. As in some shit happens to me. I fucking keep going. I keep going. I tore a ligament in my ankle. I just keep fucking going. You gotta know when to stop. Pain, muscles, right? Trigger points or knots. Do you have a trigger point or knot in your back? Pain, joints, synovial fluid, improper angles. Do you have scoliosis? Uh, build a, why pain? Hurt versus injured. Are you hurt? Are you injured? Man. <laughs> oh, listen to me. On oh, 5'4", and my lower back hurts. I can't seem to gain any weight. Those questions, that... Shit put in the same damn sentence means you need to hit me in a DM because you need a lot more help than than that question right there. That just remember you gotta understand this. As a grown up, never count yourself out of having the ability of any other man on planet Earth. Any one of you guys in there are a brain surgeon right now. Any one of you guys are Darren an astronaut. Any one of you guys are the president of the United States. It's how bad you want to do it, which means this. I always tell people this shit. I'm a literal extremist, which means this. If I read a sentence like that and my fucking back hurt and I can't gain any weight, I look at myself and I say, hey, do you have enough respect in yourself to figure that shit out before you ask another man that is going to look up the information anyway? Because that man now holds leverage over your life. That goes into my quote. You can only lie to someone who doesn't know the truth. The good thing is, is I'm fucking honest. I'm the six of diamonds in the universe. That means I'm the truth card. I'm not going to lie to you. I got a fucking black pen. I can't write red. That's the way it works. I, unfortunately, it's just the way it fucking works. If you ever ask me a question and I don't want to fucking lie to you, I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'm not going to say shit. That's how I, that's how I don't lie. I, if I don't want to hurt your feelings, I won't say shit. I should shut the fuck up. That's the problem is you'll know when I fucking want to say something rude because I won't say shit. What's your opinion about masturbation? I think it's unhealthy personally. Um, I wouldn't masturbate before something that you need a lot of energy and power to. Like I, I like you gotta understand your your, your your testosterone comes from your legs for your nuts. It, so if you it's testosterone. So if you want to release and relax before you do something. Then yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say masturbation is unhealthy because that's scientifically fucking proven that you need to fucking release your goddamn shit. But if you are a boxer or an MMA fighter or you got something that you you need a lot of testosterone because remember, it's not only within yourself. Other people can seek that shit. They can see that shit. If you look like a little bitch, they can see that shit. You fuck. It's energy. It's your fucking. It's your umph. You could, you could feel. You, some people, they're a grown ass man. And you just look like you just, you just like a fucking noodle. Your joints are just. It just depends on who you are, what you got going on. Remember, we are not on this planet to judge, criticize, critique. Not a fucking soul. And if you know anything about religion, or if you follow Jesus Christ or God, 
then you know he's the only motherfucker that's going to judge you. So shut the fuck up about anyone judging you. If it ain't Jesus, you're not talking to that motherfucking Holy Ghost, shut the fuck up. Because that's not the way it works. If you fucking follow religion, that's it, period. There's no fucking gray line. If you follow religion, no one is supposed to fucking judge you with Jesus Christ. So it doesn't fucking matter if you want to go outside with purple fucking shoes on, with fucking green fucking hair, and fucking penny toenails. Who gives a fuck? No one gives a fuck. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can prove that shit to yourself. Besides the people that now, shit, you got the media, so someone might fucking call, or you might end up on fucking world star. Unfortunately, you don't own the footage. If you guys know anything about media content, you don't own the footage. If someone takes the footage of you, they own it. So whoever records it owns the footage. So if you do, so, you do something fucked up and someone records it, you don't own that footage. Understand that shit. Shit's, that shit's critical for people out there with for fucking content. Always wondered. I mean, no, that's just my opinion, though. I should, my dad was a boxer for 14 years, so he told me a little bit of things about that, but that's just my opinion, though. It's just my opinion. I, it's, some people fucking probably need to be relaxed and fucking wusad and shit. I have no idea. That's just my opinion. I don't, I don't believe in, there is no right or wrong. If you, whether you say you're right or you're wrong, you're always right. That's another quote of mine. You're always right. It doesn't matter. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do, how to do it. I'm, I believe every single person here is put for a specific reason, which means if I'm a body mechanic, I can teach you about the body. If you're willing to learn from someone who knows about the body, then I'm your guy. If you're a fucking hairstylist, I need a fucking haircut. So I'm willing to go to you to exchange information. You hook me up with the hair, I will hook you up with a massage. That's the way the world should be. If every single, if 7.5 billion people are on this planet and they're all here for a different fucking reason, why the fuck are you here? Are, I know you're not here to watch me. What do you do? I'm not the only special one. I've been telling you all this. I, I'm the balance guru because Instagram needed a fucking username. My name is Travis Horn. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm a fucking Virgo. That's who I am. I, that's So these profiles has allowed people to get behind these fucking images. And it's like, that's why they can't fuck with me. I'm too goddamn wrong. I'm not going to change the name now because I'm going to create a brand behind this shit. Which is going to allow me to fucking have access to anything I wanted to. Because I'm smart when it comes to marketing. My favorite old Chinese. What the f what did I say? What's your favorite Chinese wise tale? I have no fucking idea about Chinese and wise tales. Isn't smoking weed going to ruin your lungs? Why don't you use CBD or edibles? Um. Okay, now we can we we can we could go with that conversation. Um. conversation in a calm manner. Um, yes, smoking will ruin your lungs. Um, before we go on like my personal situation, we're going to go on, since you brought that up, we're going to go on your, we're going to, remember, so you're allowed to ask what you want, and I hear it, but I'm also allowed to ask what I want. So I would think the person who's thinking about wouldn't weed ruin my lungs? That thought needed to be after you asked yourself, everyone who drives a car, is it ruining people's lungs? Everyone who burns, controlled, the government burning controlled fires, is it ruining the atmosphere, ruining people's lungs? So before you, remember, so we're not here to judge or anything, so before you go personal, you need to take that question, if you really care about it, to a massive scale. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. Because remember, we could go all day. Everyone, I, I, could, I could go on my opinion of what I think. And then, of course, you can say of, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I can go blah, 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 blah. But that, that's not what it's about. If you feel, if you feel, if you feel, no, no, no. I'm talking about this, this one. If you feel that you need to ask someone if that would ruin their lungs, if you think the answer would be yes, that's not, that's not a, that's, we're not going to have a conversation here. It's going to end up, my opinion Versus your opinion. It's going to end up in like a personal argument. It's like, my question to you is, do you care about the cars 
or the environment that there's a lot of other things being pumped in the air that could ruin and kill people every single day besides little old Travis Horn sitting in his house smoking a blunt. Poor lungs. Right? So, that's my take on that. I don't know any Chinese wise tales. In me, there's not one DM that's unanswered. So if you need some personal help, you don't want to put it in the in the in the comment section. Please message me. I, if you can't afford the manual, message me. I'll give you the manual for free. I don't want your money. I, I want to help you. I want to help you get healthy because I believe the power of me helping you get healthy. I believe you're gonna go out there, be successful, and I believe you're gonna reach back and be like, "Yo, I appreciate that." I. And banking on being the unsung hero without I, I'm banking on that. I am I'm hoping that all of my selflessness, my information, my knowledge, I hope that in ten to fifteen years when you guys develop something great and be amazing, you guys don't leave me hanging. If you do, I'll still be fit as fuck. I still will have all uh, everything that I need, but I'm banking on being able to talk to you guys in the future for what you've developed from my motivation. That, that is what I'm making. That's why I go live and talk to you guys. I would not fucking do this every day if I didn't care about what you guys think or what you're doing. I, I want you guys to stay healthy. I want you to stay motivated. I want you to stay not lied to. I want you to keep seeing the raw. I want you to not lose faith in the checkmark people or the people that you consider. I, I want to be like, yo, this dude is cool. This dude will talk to you. Hit him up. He has information. I want, I'm trying really hard to show you guys that I have information. I'm trying to prove it to you with these manuals. I'm trying to prove it to you through my, through my fitness, through my moves. I just want you guys to give me a chance. Help me. Share my stuff. Please tag companies. I'm here for the long haul. So I appreciate you guys' support already. All 62,000 of you guys. It goes up and down, but I understand that you guys got things going on. I understand numbers are marketing, numbers are statistics. So I'm not upset at any of that. Please don't get upset at me. If the numbers go up, the numbers go down. I follow you, unfollow you. But please always understand you can direct message me at any time and I will message you back. Peace, love, and shit, and grease. Tune out from Las Vegas. Be easy.